Hello, Salesforce developers. My name is Danielle Laregi. I'm a senior developer advocate here at Salesforce. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map your data lake objects to data model objects that are coming in via data streams. Stay tuned. Now, the first thing that we're going to cover is what a data model object is and what it's used for. The second thing we're going to cover are the different types of data model objects that are available out of the box, as well as how to map your data lake object to a data model object. And finally, we're going to show you how to look at data model objects in data cloud so you can see where the data is actually sitting in the fields in your map data model objects. OK, let's get started. So here we are in our Solar Circles Data Cloud org. And Solar Circles is a fictional company that sells solar panels to its customers. You can already see that Solar Circles has begun creating data streams, segments, and activations, as well as unified profiles. Now, you might not know what some of these things are right now, but I can assure you that we will be covering some of these in some future videos, so stay tuned. So I'm first going to go up here from our home screen to our data streams tab and click data streams. And this will show me a list of all of the data streams that are in my solar circles org. From here, I'm going to click the contacts data stream, which is the data stream that we created in the previous video to start ingesting contacts from a connected Salesforce CRM org. And this shows me the data lake object that initially got created when I first created this data stream. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so that you can see all the different fields and field types that are part of the data lake object. Now to the right here, we have the ability to start doing our data mapping to start creating our data model object. So here I'm going to click start data mapping. And this is going to bring me to the screen where I can start mapping my data lake object to my data model object. On this screen, we will map our data lake object to our data models in data cloud. On the left, we have our contact data lake object that got created when we first created our data stream, as well as all of the fields that are on that data lake object. On the right, we have the ability to select one or more data models to map that data lake object to. I'm going to go over here and click Select Objects to pull up the available data model objects that are available out of the box. Here, you can see there's a wide variety of standard data models that are already available with objects, fields, and metadata for you to start mapping your data lake objects to. Now, we're ingesting a contact, so we're going to mostly use some of these contact data models to start mapping to. On this screen, we'll begin mapping our data from our data lake object to our data models within Data Cloud so we can start working with our information in Data Cloud. The first data model that we're going to use is the contact point address. This will allow us to map any data related to address information on the contact record. Next, we're going to choose the contact point email, which will allow us to map any email related data on the contact that is currently being stored. And finally, we're going to choose contact point phone, which will allow us to map any information related to the phone number in Data Cloud. Then we're going to go over here and click Done. I have the ability to expand one of these data models to see the fields that are available out of the box. Each data model object has a primary key that must be mapped. I'm going to go up here to search fields to do a quick find of some of these primary keys. Here you'll see on the contact point address that the primary key is contact point address ID. Here on contact point email, you'll see that the primary key is contact point email ID. And under contact point phone, it's contact point phone ID. I'm first going to map my contact ID, which is my primary key on my data lake object, to contact point address ID by clicking from the left node to the right node. And voila, as easy as that, it's mapped. Then I'm going to click from my contact ID to my contact point email ID to map that field on the contact point email. 
And finally, I'm gonna click contact ID to contact point phone ID and map that. Now the first thing I want to start doing is mapping some of my mailing address fields on my contact record that's coming in via my data stream to my contact point address data model object in data cloud. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in mailing under my data lake object, which is my contact data lake object. And then over here under contact point address, I'm going to expand so I can see some of the fields that are available that I can map to. Okay. So the first thing I want to map is mailing city. So I'm going to search up here for city, and I see that there is a city field underneath my contact point address. I'm going to click from my left node to my right node in a similar manner as what we did to map our primary keys. Then I'm going to look and see if I have a country field, and I do. So I'm going to map my mailing country over to my country field on my contact point address. The next thing that I'm going to look for is state, so I can map my mailing state. And here I see I have a state province filled on my contact point address that I'm going to map to my state province on my contact data lake object. The next thing I'm going to do is street. So I'm going to do the quick find and uh oh, there is no mailing street. So what can I do here? Well, I do have the option to add a new field here. So I'm going to click add a new field. And then I'm going to put in street. And I'm going to choose a text as my data type. And click save. And now what you'll see is when I go under search fields under my data model objects, I have this brand new street custom field that I just created under my contact point address data model object that I can now map my mailing street on my data lake object too. Just like that. To view my data model object in data cloud, I can go up here to the data model tab and click it. From there, it'll pull up all of my map data model objects that are in my data cloud. Here, I see the contact point address, which is one of the data model objects that we just recently mapped. On the contact point address data model object page, I can see all the data streams that this data model object is a part of, and I can also see all the data lake objects that are also mapped to it. Below, I can see all of the fields that are part of this data model object. To view the record level data, in my data model object, I can click the Data Explorer tab. And from there, I can choose Data Model Object. I can select my contact point address data model object. And from there, it'll show me the records that are in my data model object. Now we want you to keep learning beyond this YouTube video. So I've listed some resources here that will allow you to keep learning beyond this video. And we would love for you to stay connected with us. We have our salesforcedeveloper.com website. We also have our Trailblazer community where devs can get together and ask each other questions. And we also have a multitude of social media platforms that we're on, like our YouTube channel, LinkedIn, as well as Twitter. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video, developers. Once again, my name is Danielle Laregi. I'm a senior developer advocate here at Salesforce. I really appreciate you tuning into this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also please like this video.